low driving intelligence community. My channel has been growing and that's fantastic, but what's better is I'm getting more engagement with the community and I'm getting a lot of questions from subscribers and viewers. And please keep that up. I'd love to hear your comments and questions. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over a question I got from Frank Calandra. Thanks, Frank. Um, he has a question about my video regarding uh, exhaust drone in your cab. And he has an excellent question. What's the impact of temperature or what temperature to pick for your exhaust gases? Because that has an effect on the speed of sound. And that's what I'm going to get into in this video. Stay tuned. Before I get started, I want to point you toward two other videos I did on this topic. The first one was my basic drone calculation. The second one has to do with loose hangers, and that's a good one to watch if you do have drone, just to make sure that your entire exhaust system is attached properly to your vehicle. Now, you got a problem with drone in your vehicle. Uh, it's not an exhaust hanger. You know it's because you put a new exhaust or you, know, you took out your cats or whatever you may have done. And uh, so that drone is, uh, is driving you crazy. So you want to figure out how to do that, and the best way to do that that I found is to add a J-pipe. And a J-pipe, as you can see in this photo, is basically is a pipe that is added off to the side of your main exhaust. If you have a single exhaust, you have one. If you have a dual exhaust, you're going to have to have two of these. And that pipe, that J-pipe, is calculated to a specific length to, uh, to cancel out waves, sound waves. This curve represents the loudest, most obnoxious frequency. And what you want to do is find that frequency and then create a sound wave that is 180 degrees out of sync with that. Now, the best way to do that, that I found, is to download an app onto your phone and, uh, and determine what that frequency is. As I mentioned in my first video in this series, I said to use a Spectrum app. I don't own it. I don't, didn't develop it. It's, uh, it's an app that I found is very helpful, and you'll con you can see that... And that yellow bar, that is the loudest, most obnoxious frequency, and that's the one that I want to focus on. It's at, it, in this example, it's 31 hertz, just an example. My original video used 343 meters per second as the basis of the calculation for the speed of sound. And I used that when I calculated the size of my J-pipe on my 2002 F-150. The problem with that is that that temperature is based at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is nowhere near the actual temperature of your exhaust system. Frank, who asked the question, has a diesel engine, and he knew that the, uh, the temperature range was pretty broad. It goes anywhere from uh, no load conditions at 572 degrees Fahrenheit to uh, anywhere, anywhere as high as 1,293 degrees Fahrenheit. And with gas engines, it's uh, not quite as big a range, but it's anywhere from 600 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So... If you, if you go to the example that I used, at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, you end up with a 108.9 inch J-pipe. But uh, at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, if you use the speed of sound at that temperature, which is 463 meters per second, you end up with a J-pipe that is almost 40 inches longer. Here are my recommendations. So you want to decide on your typical driving conditions. If you're doing a lot of towing, perhaps Frank's doing a lot of towing with his diesel. Uh, a lot of highway driving without a whole lot of load on it, a lot of city driving. Decide where you are most of the time, and then that's where you want to measure your frequency. Uh, that's the specific load condition for your drone problem. You want to use a handheld infrared scanner. I bought one when I did mine, and I, I'll link it below, and you'll get your temps. The temps should be measured between your muffler and your catalytic converters, and you should measure those temps immediately following the driving conditions that you've decided are your typical driving conditions. That'll give you the most accurate temperature, and, uh, and then you can go online and determine what the speed of sound is with that temperature. Just do a, an internet search. Now, your final option is just to use the temperature ranges I indicated in this video and the prior slides, and, uh, and that would give you a very close range. Like I said before, I, I um, used 300 whatever is it, 343 meters per second for my, temp, my uh, speed of sound, even though my temperature of my exhaust is much higher, and I found a significant improvement in driving conditions. So I'm not saying you should use that speed, but you know, getting it to the exact number is not going to, you know, you're not going to, it, there's a point of diminishing returns, and you should just go ahead and, uh, and select a number that's in a close range where you think that your operating conditions are. 
Hope you like this. Hope this helped. If you have any more questions or comments about this, please leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Driving Intelligence.